Hey everyone, my name is Charles Hart, and I'm a video editor here at MinMax, a place about games, friends, and getting better. Look, 2024 is already off to a wild start, so we thought it'd be fun to cut together some of MinMax's best moments from the year as a refresher or just a fun trip down memory lane. If you're new here, I'll be popping in a few times to give context on some of the uh, shows and behind the scenes details. And if you like what you see, you can join our Patreon at as little as the $2 tier and we'll send you a code for a random Xbox game. To kick things off, here are some of our favorite clips from our Twitch streams. Oh, he, oh there we go. Okay, gotcha. Time for those cops to say oh, goodnight. <laughs> <laughs> Nice kid is the achievement we got. Oh. <laughs> um, me when cordless drill, me when JBL speaker. I love that this is a video of a road. This is perfect. That weirdly calm We are down. sort of playing the poor man's version of PT, but like I'm so scared. <laughs> Do I just have to look like this? Should we look at the photo again? Not gonna lie, he could do better. <gasps> Haley! <laughs> what? He killed her! Oh, whoops! <laughs> I thought he was. I thought this was the whole I home guess of he random. agreed with you! <laughs> <laughs> Haley, that's a murderer! Oh, well. I guess it'll cover us while we kill the eggs. Uh, napalm strike coming in. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, so long for my turret, but you know. Jacob, you might be in the middle of that, so just heads up. Oh boy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. Oh, even I'm in the middle of it. That's a big one. Keep moving. Oh, Juliet. Oh, I do love you. Mwah, Juliet. Oh, I love you too, Romeo. Nothing could ruin this. This is absolutely perfect. No notes. I want to continue living like this forever. You leave while I drink this. Let me drink this delicious drink. And I think... Oh, he's enjoying her beverage. It's so delicious. I think I'm just going to have a little nap. Honey... I've thought about it, and I think we should buy that horse again. Excuse me. Honey, Juliet. Juliet. Juliet, no, Juliet, wake up. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord, she is dead. Oh, my Juliet is dead. Oh, no. I've known her all of 80 minutes across three days, and my life is forfeit without her. Oh, this is a tragic day. Oh, my God. Day. Truly sucks thou ass. Oh, what purpose is there for living without my Juliet? What purpose indeed? Juliet, I'm coming to join you, honey. Oh! Oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> I hurt myself, Juliet. But not bad enough. Let me, give me just a moment, Juliet. Oh, I'm still coming to join you. I just got a little sidetracked. Okay, here I come. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, that was a refreshing nap. Oh, Lord above, please hear my plea. Let me join Romeo in the afterlife forever. No. <laughs> the it? end. Oh, it was there, they did. The end. It, it is that sad. Well, that, that is was a resounding success. A That's amazing. You took the words out of my mouth. Oh, God. Minmax is also home to some of the world's biggest Final Fantasy VII fans. Come on now. Man, I... What is more deeply ingrained than this? Like, I know. From the first time you play the game. Right. So it's no surprise that when Rebirth came out this year, it was the subject of our latest Deepest Dive, which is a sort of uh, super thorough book club where we dissect a game together. Here's what our crew thought of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Hey, what <laughs> is with the cowboy motif? <laughs> Tifa's uh, dad yeah. as yeah. well. It's so yeah, weird. yeah, you're right. And it's For... only like a few people, yeah. like the mayor. <laughs> and they live in the mountains. Yeah. Like, yeah. What's yeah. going on? Like, 
<laughs> Nibelheim is more like a Norse mythology type thing, right? There's no then, horses or chocobos around no, there. Very a ranch in sight. Uh, well, let's give Tifa's dad her due. His name is Brian. And the best part about chapter one in Rebirth me is Brian. His name is Brian? Yeah, they, they have an assignment where they call him Brian real quick, where he's like, please don't let my daughter go on this quest. Like, Brian, Brian. Down. come on. Chocobo, all, like, don't freak out like normal Brian. Chocobo be like if Brian. Cloud's mom's name was Angela or something. It's just, it's bad. Uh, and the town's on fire. Yeah. And everyone's the, dying. The whole town is on fire. We can't emphasize enough. Yeah. There's never been more fire in a, a town. A lot of Farag. Over a short period of time. Yeah. There were some Everything. people who were like, ah, my shirt's on Faraga. <laughs> ben actually got the chance to interview the director of the game. Here's how that went. Congratulations to the entire team. I'm loving my time with it so much, and I can't thank you all enough for making our dreams come true in a huge way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close, close. yeah thank you so much as well, and really look forward to also meeting you perhaps in another time. Awesome. Is there anything else you want to say? Lush, 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 lush. We also did a deepest dive for Final Fantasy VII Remake back when it came out, but if you're paying attention, you might have noticed that Jeffem, who was a regular on that series, wasn't around for this one. Here's why. Trufo says, I know you're not on the deepest dive for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, but will you be playing it in your own time? I just beat Remake and watched that old deepest dive. It helped me get through the game and stay on track, so thanks for that. Yeah, I want to... Definitely going to play through it. Um... I would like, I would like to, I want to play through it. I'm having a baby. I guess I should just say it would, is why I'm not going to be on the deepest dive. My wife and I are going to have another baby um, in, in mid-March, in, a, in a, about a month. So, um, so I'm going to be out for a while. Um... And hopefully, <laughs> so I have no idea how long it's going to take me. I would like to play a bunch of Final Fantasy before that happens. Yes, thank you, everybody. I didn't know how to, I don't know how to announce, or it feels weird to announce stuff. So, um, so there you go. I'm sure Hanson's going to be like, what? He mentioned it in a random stream. Jeff, um, I know you said it before. Into the void. Yeah, but uh, you are out on paternity leave starting this weekend. Uh-oh. Or right, or <laughs> right now, that? immediately. That is bizarre timing. <laughs> Hang on, let him collect his thoughts. He's going to pause <laughs> and think about what this Brilliant. means to him. Uh, well, congratulations again, Jeff. Um, hats off uh, to you and the wife and the little kid. Uh, enjoy it, man. Yeah. I will. Thank you. Great. And we'll see you in two months. Uh, do you want to do the sign off then? Be good. Let's fun. Have go babies. <laughs> I'm already exhausted. <laughs> when Jeffem left for paternity leave, we needed some help filling in the gaps. Luckily, Michael Huber was up to the task and he took over hosting Trivia Tower, which is our game show that we hold on Discord where the contestants are you, our Patreon subscribers. Here are some of the best clips from Michael's run so far. Sorry, We're, we've hijacked oh. Trivia Tower. Okay. We've hijacked it. We're settling in. <laughs> Who is that man? <laughs> Billy, good guess. Great. So many Billies. Nailed it right there. Wow. That is Jack Slate. <laughs> Holy crap. How do you pull that? How do you pull it? How in God's name do you pull Jack Slate? Slowly revealing itself. You can see it on the horizon. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. I Shut don't... up. Are you serious? They got it! Mm -hmm. That early? That is insane! What can be said? What can even be said? You know what I mean? Like this, uh, uh like uh, an AI could never. That was a skill shot. That was a hole in one. Yeah. That was a hole in one after like doing this, like seeing the wind. Okay, like, yeah. all right. Hole in one, boom. So okay. I kind of want to go through I done Ben's journey. It was Jack Slate, dude. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Slate. <laughs> oh, that is 
is so cool. We are here with Tim Geddes from Kind of Funny. I love that in some way this is, it's Min Max, Kind of Funny, and Easy Ally. That is together. the vibe. That is the vibe, and it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> Did they get it? They got it. I, I, I think I gotta get up for this one. This, this is. This oh, is uh oh! All right, here we go. Yes, yes. Uh oh, uh oh! Man down. We have a Huber down, everybody. <laughs> yes. That is why I love game shows, and especially this game show because it is one hundred percent about the love of the games. Absolutely. If you're a five dollar supporter on our Patreon, you'll gain access to Bonus Pod, hosted each week by Haley McLean. It's our companion podcast to the Min Max Show. Here's some clips to show you what you're missing out on. Hello and welcome to Min Max's first ever episode of the brand new podcast called Bonus Pod. Welcome, welcome. My name is Haley McLean. I'm the community manager of this lovely community known as Min Max. I was not going to miss the inaugural episode. You only get one chance. <laughs> one shot to make it all worth it. Disclaimer again, I'm an IP lawyer, but none of this is <laughs> advice. Not that I don't think Game Freak would come on and take my advice <laughs> on these assessments. I find it really exciting when the internet cares about legal stuff as much as me. Because I'm such, like, I sit at home reading these cases and being a nerd for them and stuff. So when everyone else is like, wait a second, is this copyright infringement? I'm like, ah, like, yes, exactly what I'm a nerd for. I heard one person on TikTok, they were like, Oh, it's just parody of Pokemon, so they're allowed to do it. I was like, you think Pal World's a parody of Pokemon? No, it's not. <laughs> what, what commentary are they providing on the Pokemon? I don't, it's just the most interesting thing to me. My first basic one is Link from Twilight Princess specifically. Ooh, that's the hottest Link, though. Like, and when he gets on all fours and howls and then turns into a wolf. <laughs> that's a bit of a I'm ick. right there next to him. I'm like, bark, 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 bark. <laughs> do you want to hear my most uh, embarrassing one? Uh, Mewtwo. I had a huge crush on Mewtwo. <laughs> you liked him for his voice and who he was, which is basically, right, Haley? Yeah. Right? <laughs> I liked him for his personality that we got to see so much of. Definitely not his thighs and fingers. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> but Arthur Morgan, right? That one's more reasonable yeah, and totally Arthur normal. Morgan, that's very grown up. If you wanted more of that conversation about video game crushes, you are not alone. Luckily, MinMax is home to New Show Plus, which is a weekly show where our Patreon subscribers get to vote on what we do each week. Thirst Council, which is a show based on that conversation, managed to win three weeks in a row, so here's some clips of that, along with some other New Show Pluses. New Show... New Shows Plus? What is the plural? We should assemble the Thirst Council together, and the four of us can start to consider all these crushes that everybody has. She's part bad, she's got... Every person yeah, in she's the part world bat. has a crush on her. It's obvious. Really? Okay. I think this I is kind so. of uh, illuminating a, a bit of a problem here, is is in the original conversation we had Haley and Sarah who very much are personality based on the, a lot of right, their crushes. Right, right, right. Yeah, when you getting based. men involved, it's a more like, let me think whose boobs I've almost seen. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> the definition of crushes, yeah. If that's not romance, I don't know what is. Ben, I think you underestimate the things I'm willing to kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to get a human in Casanova. <laughs> <laughs> Leo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, Samus, I would congratulations. I'd love to get a human in Casanova, please. Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, Crater has a third entry. Now, mm. I think I speak for everybody here when I just... <laughs> <laughs> Can we get an age check on Mario, please? <laughs> he's 58. He's 35, right? 43! Wait, can he's we get an age check on Princess thought. Peach? Hold on, hold on. No way she's 43. Mm -mm, no. 23? Oh, Yikes! Yeah. Yikes! Yeah. Paging yeah. Mr. DiCaprio! Oh. And, and the Jay-Z Beyonce 30. situation, you hate to see it. Bowser's you don't want to talk younger about than it. Mario? Bowser's roughly 30, so she should be with Bowser more than Mario. Oh. Whoa. Okay, well, uh, what is this? It's a lot. 
Well, guess what this galaxy, is? This is this is a cohort two? crash. Please tell me. Really? No, I was like, please yes. tell me it's not a cohort is crash. It, is this ben? is this Ben? I feel like Ben would submit this. Is it Charles? It's Charles. Like, oh Charles my submitted God. two giants. This is his like ground zero for like fetish. Like, I, say, I really, I can crawl around. I promise around you, her. he has no like, idea he is... has this. The androgyny of Sheik is like the hottest yes. part. Yeah, yeah. it's totally. so attractive. Yep. Easy Casanova. Oh, and here you we go. Sh <laughs> Shifting gears. <laughs> what a shift. Okay, what this. Wow. We, we have it all in crush. there. This is a cohort crush. Oh, we okay, fine. Oh. It's me. It's me. <laughs> wow. Let me explain. What Let a twist. Me explain. Let her explain. Let me explain. Let her explain. Let me explain. When I was seven, um, and I was playing the original Animal Crossing, I mm -hmm. was playing it and like. I lived near Jay, and he would like send me letters all the time, and he would give me pieces of furniture. Mm. And I was seven, so I was like, "Does he like me? Does he like 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 me?" But right. yeah, I, tr I was trying to throw people off a little bit because he wasn't a hot anime guy with long hair. We all have our roots. This one's not for me. I was most excited for this one. <laughs> Is the head doing I anything for anybody? Yeah, I off of this image alone, I'd go hot tamale. I think. Straight to the top? Wow, why, Leo? You know, like the lipstick, like the fit, like the I unique feel like I'm head missing shape. What people see in her head. The ring is a lot. interesting. It makes you think about commitment. You can hang on, <laughs> can hang on okay. to that. Her head game crazy. <laughs> I like the big head. I'm going to bounce it's on top of her head like Nakey Jakey. Is that what you want to hear, Janet? <laughs> So it's not what here. I wanted to hear, but it's what needed to be said. Yeah. So thank you for your <laughs> contribution. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Stick her in hot tamale. She's been smoked, spoken for. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For Second We Munch, I'm Leo Vader, and you're watching Spiciest Interview. Is that really the name we came up with for this? For the Hot Ones pairing? Yeah. Spiciest Interview? This is the first time we've ever spoken. Michael Huber, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I am nervous. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Yeah, that's that's real. That's real heat now. That's no joke. This is number eight. The bomb evolution, it's called. Oh. The eyes are wide. The stream's coming out the ears. Oh. Oh. It's really hot, dude. <laughs> ah! Eat me next. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. My whole body is sweating. Wow. Uh oh. <laughs> He's about to shoot <laughs> into the ceiling. <laughs> Cheers. Dink. Oh, that tastes like ass. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Yep, that's the worst one immediately. Ooh. I f forgot oh. to finish this question. It just says something about being a woman. <laughs> the answer's hard. <laughs> what does womanhood mean to you in the gaming space? Are there ways you feel punished for it or ways it's helped you find community? Yes. Why are you giving me this one after tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Haley, no. you completed the gauntlet. Taken on the wings of death, living to tell the tale, and now there's nothing left to do but roll out the red carpet for you. This camera... Let the people know what you have going on in your life. Oh, check out Bonus Pot! <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes your favorite new show plus doesn't get voted in, but that doesn't mean it's gone for good. When we hit our sub goal on our Twitch channel, we revive a rejected new show plus, like in this episode of Anything But GameStop, where Dan Reichert and Kelsey Lewin explore a used game store in Minneapolis. You got all the stars here. You got your Mario and Luigi, you got your Sonic, your Pikachu, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> they got a Mega Man 5 complete in box here that looks oh my great. God. Uh, and how much was, wow, this Mega Man. So what, what's the idea, it's just super... Ooh. Expensive? Oh, yeah, I that's... see. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Anson, yeah, that's that's that like, one? I don't know why that one's in the same spot as everything else. So, <laughs> oh, look at um, this. Hey, hey, Dan, I find our picture. Thing. Find our picture. Oh, look at that. Let's see, we got Ben Reeves here. Hey, that's me with me and Anuma. Yeah. Hey, Kyle. Yeah. 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 Yep, yep, yep. 
In addition to our regular shows, we actually got to travel this year to GDC in San Francisco, where we met game developers, friends from around the industry, and each other, in some cases, for the very first time. Have you two never met? Oh, she's tall and you're short? I thought Haley was short. Trivia tower? More like Oh, he's gonna walk into the... Oh, can he know where that is? Here comes a really tough to chew one! Screw you! Good, I like a tough to chew! Is this a Haley? Hey, what's up? Hi! Hey, other Haley, Haley the Boom! Hey, hi, Haley. <laughs> and finally, you know it, you love it, Here's some clips from our main podcast, The Minmax Show. Is it true, like they say in the game, that foam smash is about having a blast without bashing anyone else's beliefs? Not in my experience. <laughs> <laughs> Sly Cut says, hello all, what do you think is the coolest dance move ever? Leo. <gasps> oh, Leo did it! <laughs> I just so want to take a quick detour and I'm so glad I'm doing this before Sarah's here because she'll make fun of me but thank god we have a nice positive group here so far um so Age of Empires there's like esports competitions there was an expansion uh DLC to Age of Empires 4 yesterday <laughs> damn it Leo <laughs> well 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 oh shit. Oh, shit. Everyone be cool. If Everyone it be cool. Is it 3:40? Oh wait, no, it's 4 p.m. Oh, 4 p.m. And I said, you know what? You know what I said, Ben? I said, yeah. what could they be talking about? <laughs> what could they be talking about? I was like, is the poker game just too exciting? Uh, so yeah. guess what, Ben? I come, I come into the backstage pass, right, right. and you know what I see? What? Age of what? Age of Emp? What is this? You haven't even finished the name of the game. <laughs> Give it that much respect. At Put least, me sir. in my box. <laughs> Put me in my box. I'm not done complaining. Do you think? I'm sure everyone will love to listen to me talk about Bandle Tale after Ben has asked. Everyone's gone. They. Everyone left. <laughs> Nobody's here anymore. <laughs> Dare you? <laughs> the side quests are always super funny. That's where yeah. a lot of the comedy well, is put even, in for sure, and the main story, of course. But and no, but <laughs> even then, with the side quest, it will like start with like there's a side quest that starts with you walking up and you see a man buy like ice cream and he throws it up into the air and it lands on his head and then by the I end cried. of that quest, it is like the most emotional <laughs> resonant thing. I'm not joking. I literally cried at the end of that. Scene. <laughs> That's so good. And I always also, it's like, I, I crack up every time where they have this musical cue that's like da na 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 The classic sad theme, yeah. It's like, all right, here we go. Where it's like, okay, this is, you know, this is the story about the guy who always wanted to hit the baseball, but his father never, <laughs> never let him have baseballs. And then at the end, he's like, you know, this really makes you think a lot about life. And it like plays that song and it like, it always works. It's so funny and legitimately like, like emotionally compelling at the same time. In the original Jurassic Park, there's a scene towards the end of the movie where Dr. Sadler is talking to John Hammond about the park, and she says, I was overwhelmed by the power of this place, but I made a mistake too. I didn't have enough respect for that power, and it's out now. And this line always confused me because it sounds like she starts off referring to the metaphorical power of the park, but ends referring to the physical, electrical power of the park. <laughs> Have I been oh, wow. misunderstanding this quote for 30 years? Am I crazy? No, that is exactly what they're doing, is they're playing with the two meanings of power. But because fully, I mean, I've I never interpreted it as the electricity being gone. Same, same. I always interpreted it as the power of the dinosaurs have escaped and it is they are now out. But when you say when you say the power is out? No. Oh, you, I guess No, it, it's it's 100% literal the electricity is out cuz I didn't have enough respect for that power and it's out now. When all they've been doing the rest of the scene Wait, is talking You think it's the electricity then? 100%. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's out. The power is like the no dinosaurs way are out. It's the electricity. There's no They're way. out of the out of their cages. There is no way. It is the electricity that no, she's yeah, talking Michael about here. Yeah. There is a 0% chance. <laughs> Who the, respects, the point, though? The point, hang on, Huber, let me tell you about Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah. The point is, <laughs> okay. it's a pivot, and that's what she's working with. I was overwhelmed by the power of this place. That's about just the power of genetic engineering, power of the dinosaurs, no doubt about it. But I didn't have respect for that, and it's out now. I think she's absolutely pivoting to, uh, I don't know, does a double entendre? What would you call that? <laughs> to 
Because the rest of the scene I, is I them like. I respect it though. The power of the dinosaurs. Like who respects like electrical power? So Why her would saying. She so you're okay. So Huber, here, just to be clear, her saying I didn't have enough respect for that power and it's out now. You're saying that's not them playing with the concept of the electricity being out at all. Zero no. percent. Things no. in English. You are out of your mind. One thing no, ever. No way. <laughs> you are out of your mind. Okay, the entire scene. It's like we gotta eat this ice cream fast because the power's out and it's melting. That's good context. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's good context. The context of the entire part of the film is them being yeah. holy Jesus Christ. The power is out. They say it five hundred <laughs> times in that movie. They're not gonna say the power is out now and not at least be playful with that notion that's what they're doing gosh i don't know this it's is a very this small is crazy this is just a tweet uh where someone was having a text to speech article read about um the amount of different moves you can make in the game go which is yeah. one of those like 10 to the 90 second power you know numbers uh, but the text to speech just attempts to pronounce one followed by like a thousand zeros <laughs> and good. uh you will never guess uh in the what the manner it attempts to pronounce this in go is a doubly complex strategic game famously far more complicated than chess what one <laughs> <laughs> That means AlphaGo has to be creative, not just calculated. Oh my god. Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah, AI. So Maybe we don't need to worry about AI so oh, much. Man, oh man. And that's all for now. If any of these clips are worth $2 to you, that's all it takes to join our Patreon, gain access to our Discord, and get a random Xbox game code in your DMs. Just head to patreon.com slash minmax2ends. Hope to see you guys there.